Welcome back Arcadians, Alex here with another video and I thought we'd revisit that classic arcade game we did a couple of weeks ago, Outzone, with its spiritual successor, Fix 8. Now not a lot of you probably played this game and, and I hadn't until recently uh, my friend Roger had lent me his original PCB so I'm really excited to play this in my jammer cab and find out what we do like and what we don't like about Tower Plans Fix 8. Right, so here we go guys, Fix 8 came out in 1992, two years after the classic Outzone, and this is a sequel to that game. Um, we're going to see in this video how many credits this game is worth, okay? Out of 10, is it as good as Outzone? And how many credits, if you had a pound as a kid back in the day, or even now, how many of those 10 Ps is this game worth? So let's fire it up. zoom you in nice title screen so we get to choose from eight characters a robot Agatha Vistario and names I can't even pronounce <laughs> this of course is in the future I'm gonna pick the robot and what I love about these type playing games is the sprites and the graphics and the garish colours. I think they look awesome. So go on these panels here, you can change weapons. So this one's only forward firing. It's quite powerful. But it is tricky around the corridors and stuff like that. So a little power up there. The trophies are just extra bonus points, I believe. I've got a bomb as well, like in the outside. Oh, I've got this weapon, which I do not like. I'm going to have to bomb there, because I was in a bit of a tricky situation. Oh, this is a weird weapon, I've never had this one before. Sorry, sorry about the curvature on the left hand side here, there's nothing I can do about that. Try getting in the back of the monitor and uh, reconfiguring that monitor, but it just doesn't make any difference. Or oh, I'm going to get cornered in here. Let's maybe change the weapon. Yes, this one's better. It literally takes out the whole width of the screen. Well, I've got to move quick, so I'm moving too slowly here. too long there, but we'll carry on. Easy enough. Mid-boss, and the level boss, here we go. See how we get on here, guys. Oh, we've got three of them, have we? Yeah. Fairly easy so far. Staying it away the fire, done him. First level done guys, enjoyed that. 20,000 bonus, and we're off to second level. Now is this weapon going to be any good for this level? Because there's a lot of corridors in this game. But really you want a, a weapon that fires 360, all some weird alien spider creature things. So I might change my weapon now, that's it. No, let's change back. You can change back whenever you want. Oh, that is very cool, I like that. Some weird skull-headed snake. I 
do like this level. Look at the graphics on this, guys. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to bomb that bastard. <laughs> Get him out of the way. Didn't like him. to bomb in the end just to get out there leaving it a bit too late he's on my he's on my case this one look he's on my case come on maybe I'm too slow oh and I died oh I'm enjoying this I am really enjoying this we can't continue though guys we have to go back to the beginning we have to go back to the beginning made a different character Oh, let's try this guy, he's a bit weird. He looks like Dowsing out of Street Fighter. Oh yeah, he's floating around this guy. He's a floater. <laughs> he's from another world, another place and time. Oh, he didn't last very long though, did he? <laughs> Come on, where's the skill McBill? This is awesome. You can make comparisons with Outzone. Um, it's pretty similar, really. Obviously, a lot of people got a lot of nostalgia for Outzone. That came out first. Everyone always likes the first ones, don't they? But this is this is good. I like this. There's nothing wrong with this game whatsoever. I'm really enjoying this. and got killed. Silly Billy. Can we beat level two? We've got to, haven't we? I've got to try. Let's change the weapon up a bit. Ooh. Rebounds. But is it going to be powerful enough to destroy that skull headed snake? I don't think it is, is it? I'm not sure. Yeah. Jesus. Missed that. Oh, guys. This is awesome. Should we continue? Let's continue. Let's continue. Because this is cool. I want to show you more levels. Such a cool game. Normally, I don't normally continue. Like, start from the beginning again. Just work out all the levels, get better and better. Not one for continues at all. But for the sake of this video, let's just see if we can get to the end of level two. Because this game is absolutely fantastic. I'm loving it. Look at that. Look, look at that. <laughs> look at that skull. Skull snake. Oh, they keep coming out from the edge. No, this is the awkward bit. I need a different weapon that fires 360 because I'm buggered here. I can only fire forward. See? It's all about tactical gameplay here. Let's continue on. See, I've got the wrong weapon here. Let's get out of here. I'm 
loving this. Great sound, great graphics, not too difficult. You know, I reckon, I reckon I could get quite far in this if I put a time into it. A little bit like Elm's own, you know, if you start learning the game. Oh, in the level. Ah, oh, I should have bombed. Oh, these are, these are a bit of a nightmare. Don't like them. <laughs> oh yeah, we're through. We're through. Whoa, that wasn't the end of level. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God. What on earth? We are on another planet, guys. Anything can come out of these walls. Anything. Ah. One more continue. Come on. This is just absolutely awesome. Yeah, I need a 360 weapon here. Let's use a few more bombs. Ah. Right, this has got me in the level. Oh my god. Oh my god, what's the process? Well, bouncing balls going on and some sort of Tron mate, uh, Tron bike going on here. Have I got to shoot that eye? I don't know what I'm shooting here. Is it that eye in the middle? I haven't got a clue. Must be, mustn't it? I've got no bombs left. I'm going to die here, no? Oh my god. I don't know what I'm shooting here. It's not giving me any indication. Yes, I've done him. Done him, guys. It is that ball in the middle. Oh, well, I'm glad we got past that level. Just for the sake of this video. So, level three. How hard is this going to get now? Oh, platforms. Oh, I hate these sort of things. This is Mario now, isn't it? This is Mario all over. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Let's do a leg it. Continue anymore. Or shall I? Let's do one more. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's game over. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, what can I say? I am absolutely blown away how good this game is. I know a few people who have played this don't think it is as, as good as Outzone. I think it is as good, if not better, than Outzone. It's got a lot going for it. Graphically, it is superior over Outzone. Outzone is a fantastic game. Um, and that is a hard one to beat. This has got more characters to choose from. Still two player. I think graphically it looks better. Some of those uh, creatures and enemies in the game looked absolutely amazing. That skull headed snake. <laughs> sort of thing I used to draw when I was at school. When I was into sort of the whole Dungeons and Dragons thing. It looked awesome. I love the colours in this game. Brilliant. And um, I'm going to have to get a PCB of this. I really am. This is awesome. Um, how many credits then would you have put in this game back in the day? It's got to be 10, isn't it? I'd put 10, 10 P's worth into this game. A whole pound's worth of credit into this game. No doubt. It is awesome. That's it. Fix 8, guys, from Tarplane. Give it a whirl on your uh, emulation. It is awesome. Look, there's even like racing futuristic kind of cars in it as well. It looks awesome. So I can't wait to get to the later levels. Um, I'm going to play some more Fix 8. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.